The latest set from the LEGO Ideas team is The Office, and I'll be completely honest with you guys, I thought, oh my god, another sitcom based LEGO set? I hate this, so much better things to go for instead! But in order to prepare for this review properly, as I always do with my reviews, I decided to actually watch the show it's based upon, and my views have changed. I'm into season 5 now, and I gotta say I get it, I finally get it. The model is part of the Dunder Mifflin Scranton office that captures some of the most iconic locations of the show, like Michael Scott's office, the conference room and a section of the desk's area complete with the reception. The build is jam-packed with easter eggs and references to the show, which is something that the fans will surely appreciate and have fun trying to figure out, but before all of that let's get into the minifigures. There's 15 of them and you get all of the main characters that carry the show throughout all the seasons. All of them are exclusive to the set, some if not all of them carry new prints and usually come with an item that relates to the character in some way. We start with the one and only Michael Scott, with his giant check of money raised to fight rabies, some wrinkles on the face and dual printed head to switch expressions around. Pam Beasley looks great, dual molded legs, dual printed head as well and she has her favorite teacup offered to her at one of the Christmas parties by Jim Alpert. You kinda recognize the expressions he is always making to the camera, and the tie, shirt and messy hair fit the character well. He has a letter, though this reference is beyond me. My favorite and I believe the most instantly recognizable figure out of the lot has to be Dwight Schrute. He is perfect all around, the suit with the yellow shirt, his face expressions, glasses and hairstyle are spot on. He is holding one of his Schrute bugs, another show reference. There's still 11 minifigures to go, so I'll speed this up a little now. From the HR department we have Toby Flanderson, then there's the temp, Ryan Howard, using the exact same shirt element as Jim, that later in the show grows a beard and is constantly on the phone. Kelly Kapoor, always stylish, carrying a birthday cake with her misspelled name. Angela from Accounting, always serious, with a cat pin and a favorite Jazz Babies poster. Kevin with his iconic hairstyle, though his chubbiness is hard to represent in Lego form. Comes with a trash can with some things inside, a reference I don't get, and Oscar with a nice lavender shirt and a calculator. Stanley's both expressions are as serious as he usually is in the show, and carries his iconic crossword puzzle and a pretzel from the Pretzel Day episode. Phyllis has the chopsticks element as knitting needles, which I loved, and is knitting the oven glove for Secret Santa Christmas Party. Meredith has a sweater and coffee cup with probably some alcohol inside. Then there's Creed, looking very happy with his mung beans, and finally Daryl from the warehouse with a Terry's Diner takeout menu. Minifigure selection is great for obvious reasons, and most of what this set is all about. Lots of minifigure suit parts here as well, so if you want to recreate an office environment for custom LEGO builds, this is the set to get. The office itself isn't a challenging build, but that's not what the set is about honestly, it's the details and show references, which there are a ton of. Most of them achieved with stickers and there's like 60 of them used, which is a lot. Michael's office slides out from the main build so you can see it better, looking at it you'll probably recognize a lot of references from the show, like the posters and diplomas, Jan calling on the phone or a post-it drawn by Pan a dundee at the front or the mug element, with the world's best boss words printed on. I'm not sure this is new, but there's a minifigure ad element with a glow print on and there's even some poop under Michael's desk. If you know, you know. The conference room is rather simple, with some seats, a whiteboard and a TV set at the corner with the DVD screensaver. There's a few extra pieces to change the TV image as well, like the straight out of Scranton wrap or the slice of pizza on Ryan's face. The whiteboard can be changed to the pyramid scheme one and up here in the corner the birthday sign can be changed to the diversity day take two. Seven different references of the show in just this small space, but when you move to the office it gets crazier. The entrance is very plain with the Thunder Mifflin sign. Inside the entrance sofas are actually interesting builds, so is the reception desk where Pam usually is. Again, lots of details and references to the show. I also like the printer at the corner here, the top tray opens and closes, and the unused space back here made space for some cabinets and files on which we can find Angela's hidden cat. The stapler in Jello Prank is awesome here, printed element next to Dwight's desk. 
The screen references Shurich's Beetroot Farm, there's a micro fig that's meant to be his wobblehead figure and a shuriken in his top drawer. Jim's desk hasn't a lot going on for it, except for the wedding ring down here. The next set of desks are similar to the previous ones and belong to Phyllis, based on the Bob Vance reference on the monitor, and the Anne Stanley that has the under construction Dunder Mifflin website reference. As a fan of LEGO, I look to these sitcom based sets and I don't find them suitable building challenges for my taste. They're often fairly basic builds with lots of stickers and minifigures I usually have no connection with. But that's the thing, this isn't a product for LEGO fans, this is a product for the Office fans, which was the idea that brought this set to life to begin with, and in that regard does its job tremendously well. You get all of the main characters in minifigure form, you get part of the Office where most of the action of the show happens, and there's tons of references and easter eggs that will have you smiling while building it. If you like the Office and you like LEGO, you probably should be getting this, and considering the recent price increases, this isn't that terrible at $120 for almost 1200 pieces. Let me know what you think about this and I'll see you all in the next one.